In this video, let's see a numerical problem based on the concept of transpose of a matrix. We already know what is transpose and we have already seen the few videos which tell us the properties of transpose. This video is dedicated to a numerical problem. Let's see what the question has to say and let's get started with the solution. Let's read the question together. The question is if A is equal to cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta that means it is a matrix given to us and the matrix does not have any numbers but trigonometric functions. Then what the question asks us? The question asks us to find theta, theta such that it satisfies the equation A transpose plus A is equal to I2. What is I2? I2 is identity matrix of the order 2. We already know. Now, if this matrix which is given to me is A, what is A transpose? A transpose is basically what? Wherein the rows will become columns and the columns will become rows. So if it is first row which is cos theta minus sin theta, A transpose will have the first column as cos theta minus sin theta. So what is A transpose? A transpose is basically again a 2 by 2 matrix and what is the speciality of that matrix? that the row 1 has now become the column 1. So it is like cos theta minus sin theta wherein cos theta minus sin theta I see was the first row it has now become the first column and sin theta cos theta is now my second column instead of second row. So it is sin theta cos theta and this is A transpose from this A why we needed A transpose. We basically needed this because this equation involves both A transpose and A. Now A transpose plus A, we need to compute this. Let's see. This is A, this is A transpose. Just add them and we get the result. So A plus A transpose or A transpose plus A is what? Cos theta plus cos theta. 2 cos theta. So I write here 2 cos theta and what about the next thing minus sin theta plus sin theta? Both things are added, both are same becomes 0. So it is 0. Next, sin theta minus sin theta. Sin theta minus sin theta again it is 0. Last but not the least, cos theta and cos theta both added. So it becomes 2 cos theta. And this is a matrix which is a 2 by 2 matrix. Now I already know one thing that the equation is given to me that it satisfies it as equal to I2. What is I2? I2 is identity matrix of the order 2. Now identity matrix of the order 2 means 1, 0, 0, 1, right? So if this equation which is A plus A transpose is equal to I2, so it is basically equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. Now when this is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1, I know that the elements individually are equal to these elements. That means if I have 2 cos theta as the first element here, so here it should be equal to 1. 0 is already equal to 0, here also 0 is already equal to 0 and 2 cos theta is equal to 1. So what does that mean? It means that I have 2 cos theta is equal to 1. And what does it otherwise also mean? That cos theta is equal to 1 by 2. So when cos theta is equal to 1 by 2, I was not supposed to find out cos theta. Rather, what I was supposed to find out was theta. So if cos theta is 1 by 2, I know that for what angle of theta is cos 1 by 2 for 60 degrees. But we are not supposed to find out only and only acute angle. The angle can be anything. So we need to provide the generalized solution to it. So that is why if cos theta is equal to 1 by 2, what is my theta? My theta is basically as per the general solution and the principle that we already started in our junior class of class 11. Cos theta is equal to cos pi by 3. And cos theta is equal to pi by 3 wherein theta is equal to pi by 3 or I should be saying the general solution as theta is equal to 2n pi plus minus pi by 3. What have I done is I have basically applied the formula wherein cos theta is equal to cos theta 2 or theta 1 is equal to theta 2. Then what happens was theta is equal to 2n pi plus minus pi by 3. This you already know in class 11th we started is the general solution wherein your n belongs to integers. We have also started this. 
So that means in this video we saw a numerical problem based on the concept of transpose. In the next video we will also be seeing another numerical problem based on the same concept.